Hello everyone. Welcome to Chorus Tech Hub. Today I am going to talk about the basics of Microsoft Excel. This is the first tutorial on Microsoft Excel basics and Dell will talk about how to use alignment, orientation and wrap text in Excel. Don't forget to subscribe and you will see more and more videos. There are two main types of alignment, the vertical and the horizontal one. Under vertical alignment there are three sections of alignment, top align, middle align and bottom align. Under horizontal alignment there are three sections of alignment, align left, center and align right. Let me show you how these alignments work. I have my data here showing a list of employees, with the employee code, gender, national identification numbers and phone numbers. So with top align I can move this heading employee code to the top of the cell by selecting in the cell then clicking on top align. I can still select the same heading and do the same with middle align, moving my heading to the middle and bottom align where my heading is moved to the bottom of the cell. Under horizontal alignment, the text is moved horizontally. So with top align I can move this heading employee code to the top of the cell by selecting in the cell then clicking on align left, which moves my heading to the left side of the cell, center align which moves my heading to the center of the cell and align right which moves my heading to the right side of cell. Now let's move on to orientation. Orientation allows you to organize your data in a nice way so that it fits in your rows and column. There are different ways in which you can organize your data. There is angle counterclockwise. The next one is angle clockwise. Then we have vertical text. And then there is rotate text up. And lastly we have rotate text down. Let's move on to shrink to fit and wrap text functions. Wrap text is used when text is overlapping to other cells. Look at my text here, Microsoft Office Excel, it is not fitting in one cell. So for this text to fit in one cell, you can either change the font size. But I'll want to use this method. Right click on the cell with the text, then go to the tab format cells. Under text control, click on shrink to fit. Then see this text now fits in the cell. But the problem with this method is that the text becomes too small to read, but you can increase the cell size. Even when you increase the cell size, the font size will not change, it is still 11, but now it's readable. Now L1 to use wrap text so that my text will fit in the cell. Right click on the cell with the text, then go to the tab format cells. Under text control, click on wrap text. Some of the text has been moved to make three rows so to speak, but it now fits in one cell. But if you also extend the cell size, the text will adjust itself nicely. The easiest way of doing this is by using the wrap text function on the home tab. Now let's use this text, select the text then simply click on wrap text on the home tab like this. Thank you for listening. Let's meet in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.